Hi, I'm Tom Lehman. I'm glad to be talking to all of you Fairmont Hotel guests who do a lot of traveling. And if you're like me, you're getting off a lot of airplanes and going straight to golf courses, and it can be very difficult to get your body ready to play. So here's a few tips on some of the things that I do to get myself ready to play golf. Perfect world. I try to get to the golf course two hours early. Well, that's a perfect world. But in those two hours, what I do is I actually take 40 minutes, 30 minutes, 40 minutes to stretch. And I actually have a stretching routine that I go through so I can get myself good and loose before I actually get to the range. You know, maybe have some water, grab a bite, bite to eat, but then get to the range and for about an hour, starting with the wedges, hit wedges, I mean, literally hit wedges for 20 minutes, 25 minutes, and then move into the seven, the six, the five, the three with the driver, uh, finish the few little sand wedges and then I go to the putting green and I go to the putting green and I'll take at least 20 minutes in the putting green uh, simply because to me putting is probably the biggest issue with scoring in golf. Uh, so once I kind of get all those things it's all a feel thing you know the, the hitting the balls getting loose stretching you know putting getting the speed of the greens and then I'm ready to go play. When I get to a golf course you know I, I first of all look for a stationary bike you can find a stationary bike either in a Fairmont uh, fitness center or at the golf course itself and ride the bike for five minutes. That really helps to kind of get things kind of moving. Secondly, I like to get my shoulders loosened up. You know, just simple stretches, you know, to kind of pull your shoulder back and get your shoulders loosened up so that when you start swinging, you don't pull a muscle. I mean, it may sound stupid and crazy, you know, but it's true. If you get your shoulders loose, you know, just trying to get things going so that you're not going to hurt yourself. Just simple little things to hold for 10 or 15 seconds. You know, all kinds of little stretches with your legs, you know, just little lunges to kind of get your legs moving. You know, there's all these kind of things you can do. There's, you probably know a million exercises, but to me, you know, if you can just kind of get your hips and your shoulders a little bit looser, you know, it really helps a lot to kind of get things moving on the golf course. Anyway, so you kind of get the idea. I never hit a full golf shot when I start swinging until I'm ready. And so I grab my wedge, my pitching wedge, and I just start swinging easy easy and I mean the first few shots may only go about 70 yards. And I just try to get everything kind of working where my feet are working, my knees, my shoulders, my hips. And I just start swinging very very easily uh, with my pitching wedge until that point in time when I can start swinging a bit harder without feeling any real restriction. The putting green is where all the, the shots are really saved. Uh, so I like to spend as much time as I can putting before I play, simply to get a feel for the speed of the greens. So typically what I do is I'll get four or five balls, and I'll just find a hole, and I'll, I'll try to hit 30 and 40 foot putts uh, to that hole, you know, for 15 or 20 minutes. And, and maybe in between those longer putts, I'll hit a bunch of three footers, and then go back to a bunch of long putts and some short putts. And, and really don't hit a whole lot of putts from 10 feet. So it's mostly about getting the feel for the, for the speed of the greens. You know, when I'm warming up, I try to be absolutely unattached to whether the ball goes in or not. I just feel like I want to watch the ball roll, put a good stroke on it, get the speed right, you know, and just get those things right. You know, and then when, when I get on the golf course, you, you tend to spend more time lining up putts, being more specific with your line. You know, but here it's all about getting comfortable over the ball with your stroke, with the speed of the greens. So if I can get the speed right with the long ones, and make a bunch of good strokes and make the short ones. Uh, it takes a little bit of the mystery out of golf. You know, before I go play, I tend to want to hit a few chips uh, as I hit a few putts, just to kind of again get the feel for the ball, hitting the green, releasing, and see how it's going to react on this kind of grass. Warming up is all about getting loose and just building some confidence. The confidence is really based upon hitting shots that feel good, that look good. Not necessarily that they end up all that great, maybe, but at least you get a feel for a solid chip, a solid putt, a solid drive, the ball rolling the right way, the ball flying the right way. Just, you know, it kind of builds confidence to go on the golf course and repeat the same thing over again. Coming up before you play is not the time to be working on your, your swing or your stroke. Warming up is simply that, it's warming up. It's getting a feel for the club, a feel for the greens, a feel for the speed, a feel for how the ball is flying off the driver. It's not about making sure that your left arm is straight and your left, right 
elbow is straight and making the good turn. All that technical stuff, forget about it. Worry about that later when you're actually working on your game, not when you're warming up to play.